We hit the range one hour before tee off, then the chipping green and putting green to be sure we were warm and knew the green speed and had a feel for chipping. Down grain, up grain, left grain, right grain. We never do this warm up. We just hit the tee after 10 quick putts on the practice green. A full warm up is the game changer. We have a strategy today. Right to left side heel putts. We're lagging them for a two putt unless it's inside five feet. He has a slight pull action on his putts and I don't have expertise to stop that. We just play with what we got. We're going to try hard to avoid downhill and down grain putts, but the elevated greens will make it harder to control. We want his most comfy shots into the greens, which are on the screen now. What we did before the round. He used the Swing Caddy SC300 to learn his distances on the range over a few days. Link in the description. Perfect shot. Come around. Okay. Uh, normally for 133, what do you take? Uh, well, we said now my pitch is 140. Yeah, but, but your I lie is terrible. Lie, take you, pitch again. What do you have there, nine? Okay, pitch is, pitch is fine, okay. pitch is fine. And, and the, the, the club will want to wrap, be wrapped by that grass, eh? so just a little right of the pin. Okay. Great shot. That's a great shot, mate. Matey! Wow, you, gl you glided through. Oh, baby, that's your first. Easy game. Uh, so we want to hit comfy shots. We don't want to go hit something new. So the hybrid you've been practicing on the range, yeah. but it's not something that's been taken to the course yet. And with no. water on the right, I want you hitting this into those bunkers on the left. Perfect shot. It's going to fly that bunker. Okay, so with 192 playing 202 up the hill, water in front. Yeah. Is there anything you feel you could carry 190 yards easy peasy lemon squeezy? In a normal round, I'd say my four iron. But you're not feeling good with the four. Not feeling good. With so four. we want to lay up left. Mm -hmm. And what do you want into the green? That 50, 50, 60 yard shot is quite nice. Okay, then you can go up there. Shoot to the top of the hill there. How much? To the edge of the fairway. That, that center tree is yeah. 174. Okay, so hit something like 150. Interesting. You got uh, 78 yards, pins on the front. I mean, a nice, a nice 60 there should, should hit and spin. Yeah. Gonna be great. B-Dog was closer to the hole of the tee than round one and two, but the next shot was Puffy's, oh, leaving good. him a far more difficult approach than his last two rounds. And yet... Whoa, whoa. Whoa, hit it! Come on, man! Life happens inside wedge range, girls. Stop. Stroke shaved will tell us that we have a lot of green to work with on this chip shot. The main objective is to get it on the green. The second objective is to get it close to the hole. This is the perfect chance to do that because we have a lot of green to work with, but we must always be happy with being on the green. Tap it in, tap it in. Good one. from the fluffy stuff. Okay, we got lucky. <laughs> yep. On Chiang Mai. Look at that place. That's this little patch over here. Over here, that's uh, 
into the grain for us, down grain for him, but because that's a light color, that's down grain for us, into the grain for him, he's gonna have to hit it a bit firmer, it's dead into the grain, uphill. Because you have, you have grain, and then you have another grain. But you see this grain, it's going into us from this end. It's going really well, a little bit. I think you have that set up perfect. Perfect. Bend him. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yes! What a good caddy, Snooky. Two caddy. Two caddy, oh sorry. sorry. Nice, smooth up the hill, like a burst. Oh, what a shot! You sexy man. Good shot. Thank you. Okay, 94 up the hill with the wind, playing 94, I reckon. Okay, can I just interrupt? Because this is our hole. Yeah. That pin is on the extreme left of the green. Mm -hmm. There's nothing behind that pin. Mm -hmm. Right edge of the flat tree, the funny tree. Mm -hmm. Right edge of that tree, there's tons of green. Okay. I want you to hit it at the orange flowers on the right side of that tree. Hit those orange flowers. Be enough. Be enough. Go ball. Oh, yes! We have left ourselves the downhill and downgrain putts. There's an easy way to hack your brain on the slippery putts. You imagine the hole is five or six feet short of the actual hole on your chosen line. When you make practice strokes, look at the imaginary hole, not the real hole. Your stroke should match the speed it would take to get the ball to the imaginary hole as if it were a flat putt. The key is to don't stop, don't stopping. Yes, over, over. Yep, that'll work. Get over. Okay, easy enough. How did it go? A little bit too much of a stinger, but it's safe. Where? Top of the bunker. That looks real tasty, bro. That is so tasty. Great shot. Great shot. Back of the green. Perfect. Okay, this one is a flat putt now. I just treat it like a flat putt. It's into the grain, but it's downhill. So it's, it, it's equalizing. Yes. 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 Oh. Keep my. No, Mark. Great shot, great caddy. Easy game, easy. Uphill, easy. Pulley, pulley, go, 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 ball. go. Yeah, it's gonna miss the bunkers. Oh my god! What? B dog has the most savage putt you can have on this green. There he is. I like a challenge. He's gonna come up the slope, and then it's going down the slope, down the grain. So he's coming uphill into the grain, coming up to the crest. And then it's going to go from about here, it's going to have another little hump and then a downhill slider left to right. He's going to have to go way left, let it die and let the grain bring it in. You can see this down grain right there, that burn mark is where the grain's coming.
Okay, I, I think with 155, I think, dude, there's no point going with an eight. There's no breeze. Just hit a nine, have an uphill putt left, and if you get on the back tier, perfect. And just a little left of the pinner. Like We're collecting bogeys, down. and this is not ideal for breaking 80. The bogeys from this nine came from three putts and three tee shots that left us in tough positions. Right. We could say the 4th, 6th and 7th hole were good bogeys considering the tee ball. I think we escaped with the minimum. Two of those three putts though were preventable on 5 and 9. The concentration and focus required to stick to the plan is tough. Both of those putts were right to left downgrain putts. On the back 9, which I think is slightly easier for scoring, we need to avoid the sand traps, the water, and we need to avoid the three stabs by getting balls below the hole on approach shots. I want that teed up a little higher just to give you some uh, margin for error. Gonna give you five more yards as well, a little draw. Cool. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yep, perfect shot. Yeah, that's a much more fluid swing, man. B-Dog later told me he didn't know his score, but imagined he scored 44 on the front nine, and this hole is the result of that shizer. In the wise words of our guru, Lenny Kravitz, it ain't over till it's over. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Okay. okay, we got 136 yards. What you got? Pitching. Nice, beautiful. Left of the pin, middle of the green, bam. Okay, wait. I think you guys should hit a gap. Gap. A gap like you did on the range. Gap. 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 Gap is better. I think gap's your club, yeah, bro. I just, I think it's, I think it's yard perfect with a gap. No need to, no need to buffoon it. Yep. A I nice, a nice solid one. I think you got it. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Perfect, the wind's keeping it back in the fairway. <laughs> Playing 147, so not much more. 150, what you got? 99. Perfect. Perfect, girls. At that pin, baby. B-Dog loves to go left here. This was a gut punch right in the pit of my stomach. From that position on the left, B-Dog has gone quad bogey and double bogey. The pin is in a slightly friendlier position because the green slopes away only a couple yards after the hole. So we do have a chance here if he remembers to get it on. only six holes to go and in my opinion the simplest six holes on the course I really think we have a shot at Stay up. it's damage control mode now take the drop at the hazard and get the ball to a place that we can play a fourth shot into the green 
we can still get the ball on the green in four shots and make a putt. This is stroke shaved. Okay, 185, six iron. Looking perfect, girl. Yeah, you wanna go right of the flag, yeah. Great shot, buddy boy. Superb. Go. Hey, on Chiang Mai, baby. Okay. Yep, better pace there. Do not hit a stupid shot after a bad shot. What a save. Oh, what a two putter. Perfect on. Love it, girl. I love it, girl. Okay, so why the wedge? I don't know. I'm undecided. I mean, is it sitting nicely or what? Because from my angle, it looks like a terrible life for wedge. We are still below the hole, which is our goal. B Dog is thinking about a 60 degree wedge from four inches off the green. I have to step in and look at the lie. There is nothing behind the ball. The lie is very tight and it's almost on the green. There's no universe in which the 60 degree is a smarter play here over a putter. The risk of blading it or leaving it six foot short is too big. The highest loft club you can chip with from there up the hill is an eight iron. It's time for him to trust the putter from the edge. He's actually very good with it. In this hour of need, I need him to put away the cringe fringe 60 degree and trust me. Perfect. Go. Go. You got, you're not gonna do better than that with a chip. Great job. Great job, my bro. Good job, baby. Good caddy. Fine. Keep that glove badge at the hole. Yeah. Sure. Oh, just a little more, eh? that is so good. This is strokes shaved. Get the ball somewhere near the green and then get up and down. B-Dog is owning it. Do we still have a chance here, boyfriends? Every time go right. Every time go right, 100%. Good shot. What a great shot. You got this hole licked on that shot, bro. I love this hole. It's my favorite hole. In the first round here, B-Dog chunked the shot by playing a shot he thought I wanted to hear. It was strange to see him hit a 56 degree that time. This time, he elects for the 60 degree, which is what we would always do. Stroke shaved. Hit the shot you know how to hit. Avoid the shot you don't know how to hit. Yes, buddy. Yeah, baby. We got the power for the first time. <laughs> what a swing. What a swing. Stroke shaved with the go to club of the tee. That shot leaves B Dog with a 60 degree into the green, which we worked on a lot in the last few days. In, in. Oh, what a shot. We have a chance to go back to seven over.
Okay, solid enough drive. We need a big fat birdie on the last to break 80. I saw the good shot, great shot. It's a lot tougher now, but we still have a chance to hole out the fourth shot. I live in hope. Mm. Just try to absolutely rip that. Players, this is what I mean. b Dog hits a stupendous shot on the last hole to save the bogey. His mind is slowly shifting, but he may still be in purgatory. He is creating moments for himself to bring out the big save. He must trust that he is good enough to stick the greens and make one and two putts. He must recognize he has all the shots, so when he is in the middle of the fairway, he can hit a smooth nine, pitching wedge or other wedge, and stick the green. He doesn't need to smash any wedges. The mindset of the high 80 player is to scramble a lot because he is often in a problem position. Could B Dog be sabotaging himself by holding on to that image in his mind of how golf has been for him? B Dog has the mad skills. He now needs to go from a reactive golfer to a proactive golfer and take advantage of his opportunities. His scrambling is superb, but as you can see on the 10th, 12th, 13th, nearly the 14th, and the 18th, he is in positions to own the course, and something comes out of left field to turn us into scramblers. The mindset switch will come. It's hard, and it's made harder, because this is new territory for the man. But with time, all the stroke shaved work we have been doing will bring us that sweet, sweet sub-80 nectar.